Today I'll be comparing the cameras on the iPhone 13 Pro versus the Honor 70 and you can tell I have two microphones on me. They're super compact and they're from Movo. One's for Android and one for iPhone. This video is sponsored by Let Me Call It. They sent me a ring holder. Basically, it's like any other typical ring holder for your back of your phone, but this one is MagSafe compatible and you can use this for basically all the newer iPhones. The ring can spin around to get your hands in a more comfortable position and also it can act like a mini kickstand. At the end of the day, when you want to wirelessly charge your iPhone, just easily take it off and you can charge. Not like the old school style ones where it's stick on there for good and you would have to take it off leaving those sticky residue on your phone. If you want to find out more about this product, I'll have the links down below. So right now I'm heading into the city to grab some colorful soup dumplings for lunch. The original restaurant is in Flushing, so that's super far, but recently they opened one in K-Town, so thankfully I don't have to travel as far. Okay, let's do a quick microphone test. Testing one, two, one, two. This is what it sounds like on an Honor 70. Testing one, two, one, two. This is what it sounds like on an iPhone 13 Pro. So let's start with the ultra wide and the first thing you'll notice is the iPhone 13 Pro's ultra wide is wider than Honor 70. It is also a 50 megapixel camera versus the 12 on iPhone. And there are some differences in terms of color, white balancing, and most likely HDR. And that's where I think the biggest differences are throughout this comparison. Now with the main camera sensor, Honor has this big thing where it's the first phone to use Sony's IMX800 sensor. It does look very good and it captures everyday things very well, but the HDR is something you can see the difference between these two phones. And throughout the video, you can see where the highlights is a bit more exposed and the shadows are a bit darker, whereas on the iPhone, you can see more in the shadows and the highlights are pretty controlled. But the iPhone is also not perfect either. There's always this like greenish gray tone to it, which I don't really like. Whereas on Honor, it's more saturated and more vibrant. For telephoto, the Honor 70 doesn't have one. So clearly the iPhone will win in this section. But even with the Max Zoom 10X on Honor 70, it looks pretty decent. For selfies, it feels like the Honor 70 has more of a dreamlike look, a little bit more faded, whereas on iPhone, it's just very sharp and has more of a contrastier look. For portrait mode, you both have 1x, but on the iPhone, you can zoom in to 3x and get that more compressed background look, which looks more like a portrait. The only downside about the 3x is you need a lot of room for this, so outside, it's fine, but when you're indoors, it's kind of hard to use. But taking a look at these images, the Honor 70 does have my skin tone to be a bit more saturated. You can tell by my lips is more pinkish versus the deeper reds on the iPhone. In terms of the shadows, it's much harsher on my skin tone on the iPhone versus the Honor 70. For using the Instagram app, they both do very good taking pictures and video, which you'll see later. But I noticed that when I'm taking close up of food, there is more natural background blur on the iPhone. And for the colors, the Honor 70 do have a lot more saturation and vibrancy. Now for video, when I save it to the camera roll, this is one of the few Android phones that doesn't show that much pixelation in the first few seconds versus the Samsung, you can see a lot clearly. This one is very minimal. And when you're doing a zoom in effect using your thumb moving up and down, it's much more faster on Honor 70, whereas on an iPhone, it's a bit more smoother. Now moving on to lower light situations, it's still more vibrant and sometimes it kind of looks a little bit too much whereas on the meat, it's clearly way too pink. For the camera experience, I still don't like the placement of where they put the ultra wide and wide buttons. I would have to reach if I'm using my left hand. My right hand is fine but all the other Android phones and iPhones are placed in the middle where it's easily reachable on both hands. They are more fun modes to use versus iPhone, which is very basic and simple, just the generic ones. For performance, iPhone is still silky smooth day and night. Honor is just slightly slower. You can kind of see a bit of that lag or jump every time you take a picture, but that's depending on how dark the photo is. During nighttime when there's a lot of lights, HDR is also very important. And as you can tell, the iPhone 13 Pro clearly wins in this area. For photos, the Honor 70 does a very good job, very clean and crisp. So I would say the Honor 70 is more of a photo phone first, then video. Another thing I just remembered is the timer. On the iPhone or a lot of other phones out there, it's very easy access. On the Honor, you would have to go into settings and find a timer. It's just a lot of steps just to turn on and off the timer, which is very annoying. 
So let me know what you guys think about the Honor 70 and the Sony camera sensor with a 54 megapixel camera. Higher megapixel count doesn't always mean better quality because the iPhone 13 Pro's camera is only 12 megapixels. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.